Okay, everybody, I said yesterday I would make another video today, and this one's probably going to be more spectacular than the one from yesterday about Barack Obama. This one's going to be about Donald Trump and how the scriptures mention him. Now, the Jewish people know this because it's in their, their, the Old Testament, so they acknowledge it. This is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 42. And what it's talking about is the rapture and the last trump. So the Jewish people acknowledge and this is why they they have all celebrated when he was elected. Just like they all uh, knew exactly who Barack Obama was when he was elected. But they only recognize the Old Testament. They don't recognize uh, Jesus Christ and the New Testament. And... Christians don't necessarily recognize the the older Hebrew scriptures. They they more so turn to Jesus and Christianity. So there's been a conflict, a strife between the two, and part of my task is to bring the two together to show that we are one and the same, just as it was supposed to be. And to show, bring the Hebrews, the Jewish, to Jesus Christ. So they can see exactly how it relates. Now they only understand that he's mentioned. Nobody understands the deeper meaning of it all. And nobody has ever been able to reveal it. All they know is that particular piece of scripture where he's named, and I'm fixing to reveal a lot more. Now, I'm not going to reveal everything. I'm just going to reveal enough to get you to open your eyes, because again, uh, there, there's much, much more involved, but here it comes, people. And this is what the Jews have not even, the, the Hebrews have not even figured out. Nobody's figured it out or revealed it until now through me. Donald Trump's father's name was Fred Christ Trump. That was his father's middle name, Christ. Now understand that Christ means anointed one. It doesn't mean Savior Messiah. It just means anointed one. His mother, his mother's name was Mary McLeod. And both of these names are important. Remember who Jesus was born through, Mary. And Gabriel said to Mary beforehand, Mary, through you a Christ child will be born. This is what the the angel Gabriel announced to Mary before she uh, conceived. Now, her maiden name was McLeod. This was a Scottish name, and the McLeod, loud part of it, means obsolete. Now, this goes back into the video I made about Draconian, but more specifically, dr drastic measures. Remember, this meant obsolete. I won't go into depth on this because this is part of it that I'm not sure that everybody would be able to understand or wrap their heads around it, but I just wanted to show that relationship. <clears throat> and its relationship to these times and the words that are given by God. In his omnipotence. Remember, John says, John 1 verse 1, God is the Word, and the Word is with him. He reveals all through the Word. So these are the signs of the times that God has revealed. So that is Donald Trump's 
mother and father. Let's look at Fred Christ Trump's parents. More specifically, his mother. Fred Christ's mother's name was Elizabeth Christ Trump. Her middle name was also Christ, but also Elizabeth. This name is derived from Mary. And again, through you, Mary, a Christ child will be born. And then, of course, Beth. Remember the prophetess, Beth, in the scriptures. But I won't go in deep in that either. So what Elizabeth Christ means, God is my oath, the anointed one. So see, you see how God is the word in his omnipotence? Now we get to the deeper part. So we go to Donald John Trump. This is our president's name. Now I'm not telling you that, that Donald Trump is Jesus. But now the Jewish people do recognize him as being anointed, being, uh, in, in being seen is named in the scriptures. This is what they don't realize. Donald John Trump, remember John the prophet, came just before Jesus. And he professed Jesus was Lord and on his way coming, in his first coming. Now, our President Donald John Trump also professes Jesus as Lord. And he has arrived, and he's named in Scripture. And remember, John came just before Jesus. Donald John Trump. What about the second coming, people? Now, I want to point this out. Because this is very important. And this is not the only place this is found in scriptures. Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 9. What has been will be again. This has been recognized in many places in the Bible. It is done so by God to stress this. What has been will be again. John arrived just before Jesus, the anointed one, Christ, just before Jesus, first coming, and here we are again, people, Ecclesiastes 1.9, what has been will be again. And the amazing part about all of this, who also professes that God is the Word? And reveals all through the word. John 1 verse 1. So now you know the deeper meaning that no one else has been able to reveal until now. No one, the, the only thing anybody ever knew was this 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 52 that Trump was mentioned. But I've just revealed a much, much deeper meaning in relationship to the Word and Scriptures from the Old Testament, the Hebrew Scriptures, and the New Testament, mentioning Jesus is our Savior, bringing both Jewish and Christians back together as one, as it's supposed to be. Wrap your minds around it, people. See that I'm trying to open your eyes. God bless.